So some common health promotion promotion interventions for schools, okay? So even before the pandemic, so these are the health promotion interventions. First are visual cues, which are which should be, you know, they're colorful, they it should be age appropriate. And demonstration of hygienic practices like hand washing, cough etiquette, proper disposals of masks and tissues, games for learning about health and for promoting physical activity, orderliness and discipline, the use of teamwork, really teamwork, body systems, and trends, and that adults should set examples for the students. So uh, in India, they said that for them to be ready to reopen, they need more water, uh, sanitation, and hygiene facilities. And even here, that's what DepEd did to increase wash facilities, right? So there, so for behaviors, yeah. Continuation of health and nutrition services and activities. There you go. In reopens in other countries, yeah, the same things were done. They were opened with hand washing um, policies. They limited group work though, group work, contact sports. And Indonesia for a while, they were saying that you can't talk to each other. So these are some of the uh, interventions that they did across the country, separate opening, uh, social distancing, pathways for movement, no mixing of classes, alternating online learning with physical learning, limit common facilities like closing them and having half days with no lunch break. In one study, children had insufficient physical activity because of the school closure. So there's something to watch out for. But this can be addressed with parental and community guidance no? for, for now. But now, but we have to catch up when they're in, in school. And then another study also showed that using technology, uh, all is not lost because it, it supports the well-being of children. They are able to engage with their friends uh, even through uh, online measures. Okay. okay, with that, that's the summary. Uh, biology, bites, and behaviors. Yeah, so these are my uh, references. Okay, so apply your new knowledge to the succeeding exercises or discussions in this module. Again, I'm Doc Ivy, and thank you very much for your time and attention to learn about fundamental public health epidemiology concepts for school. Thank you very much.